Why, hello! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to Dee's Creative Corner. My name is Danielle Coleman, and I am a Creative Memories independent consultant. I love to scrapbook, and I hope you do too. That's why you're here. Um, today we're going to do a little quick flip through of another 8x8 album that I created. Um, this is a 2022 Eureka Springs little mini vacation hubby and I took and I'm really loving these 8x8 albums. Never really did them and uh, the last couple of years I embraced and I decided to challenge myself to work on smaller formats and I am loving it. So I'm gonna flip you guys over and why don't we take a peek at a little eight by eight that I created. So thank you so much for tuning in and I appreciate it. So, all right, let's flip over. All right, so here we are. This is a eight by eight. 2022 Eureka Springs album. And again, I do the spines myself. I have a Cricut that I punch them out and I then iron the the letters on. Um, you, we do have custom spine making as well at Cream Memories. They don't do the eight by eights. There is a hack that you can do um, a 12 by 12 spine and get your um, measurements for the 8x8 but I haven't figured that out so temporarily I am just doing the self Cricut design so all right here we go and like usual I always start my cover page with the location or a title page and I like to use my Cricut I usually generally just put one little photo on there and this was our first day heading out on our Harley to Eureka Springs and it was a beautiful morning so and we started out in southeast Kansas so let me push that up a little bit and then I'll just kind of flip through here and um, just kind of explain a few of the techniques and layouts uh, again you'll hear me say I just I try to stick to my cardstock and then a few designer photo or designer papers and then I like to map my photos and I, you know, just put a little design on there. Not all of them. I, I don't have heavy embellishments. Um, you'll notice that sometimes, you know, I, I try to get three, four, maybe five on these little tiny pages. Um, I, it's sometimes challenging, but now, I mean, a couple years into it, I now know how to print smaller photos so I can get more real estate on my eight by eights, but I didn't know that back at the time when I was making these. Um, again, just my uh, cardstock, some border maker chains, and we, um, I don't always mat all my photos, as you notice, I, I just try to keep it simple. I am getting my photos in albums and preserved. Um, not spending a ton of time on the 8x8 albums. I just like to get the story told. So um, this was the map that we did. It's called uh, Pig's Trail in Arkansas. It was a little over six hours and it was super fun. The the roads and through the Ozarks, it's, it's unbelievable through there. Um, I'm so fortunate I got to do that twice while we were here in Southeast Kansas. And um, I did show you guys uh, 2023 that we went over to Arkansas, did a couple different road adventures. And so yeah, I have a couple peekaboo pockets on here as well. That always adds great um, addition for your photos. And then um, sometimes I just will do the one page, one photo on each page that, is a nice simple way um you know a couple borders border punches uh, either with the regular border frame punches or our border maker cartridges so um and then again more peekaboo pockets just showing the exciting trail the rides the roads the scenic picture it's just gorgeous out there um 
you know, of course here I could have put more photos, but I wanted to break it up a little bit. Um, this was just a sticker I found at one of the gas stations. So I had to throw that in there. Um, not, it's not, I don't have a ton of embellishments because it's sometimes hard. I was being silly trying to get that perfect photo. Ha <laughs> ha, there's never a perfect photo. Um, but yeah, I, I, I try to stick with the same color themes and I don't always have the right embellishments for our little trips. So I, I just tend to keep them real simple. Another little sticker I picked up on the way, a road gas station or some sort, some more peekaboos to get more photos in. Um, and then here, this is just a little, um, it's a coin pocket. This was from a long time ago. Um, I just stuck to the page to put one of those in. Hubby's $100 steak that he had to have. <laughs> He said it was very good, so it was scenery photos. And then we have just a few little embellishments that I use our punches with that, that works very well, just to get some more design on. And here you notice I, I added uh, quite a few photos. There's These are all four by fours. So not, not, a, not, I didn't put any paper or anything down, I just, put the photos down. Um, this was our last day headed home. So, and then we stopped at some Freedom Silo. That was a wonderful sight to see. We were riding by it and had to stop. That's beautiful American flag with the eagle. That was just gorgeous. It was painted on one of the big grain silos. Um, it was gorgeous. So we got some last photos of those. And again, yeah, I have just a designer paper with a border maker, and that was it. And then we got to see a little bit of, we were on uh, Route, 66, Route 66 for a little bit, and um, some more pretty sights on the way home, and that was it, and that's the end. So, all right, let's flip me back over. Hello, and I am so happy you guys stayed tuned, and uh stuck with me that whole flip through of the album. Um, if you give me a little thumbs up, a like, I'm gonna give you my little, uh, <laughs> please be sure to like, subscribe, and get notified announcement. And uh, thank you so much for staying with me and um, starting this journey. We're a couple months into the YouTube and I'm enjoying it. Um, if there's anything, please reach out to me and I look forward to, the next video. Thanks guys. Bye-bye. Love you.